quite the uh, quite the scrap in there tonight. How, how did you feel about uh, your performance this evening? So I knew going into this, my opponent was going to be tough. Um, you can see that in the fight. It was all back and forth. Um, so full credit to him. He, you know, I've dropped a lot of guys with that same right hand, and he stayed in the pocket. So he's got a hard head. And um, yeah, I just got to give all the credit to my um, my, my coach Eugene Beerman and uh, my my team City Kickboxing um, that prepared me well for what was to come. And um, you can see that in Shane's performance as well, getting the win. It's a good result for the gym, and now we've got Izzy's fight. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a good night for the gym. You gave a lot of respect to your opponent. I don't think most people knew anything about him. How much, you know, you said you expected him to be tough. I mean, had you seen other than that one fight? Had you seen any more? What did you know about him? Yeah, I, I've watched a few um, fights. My, my coach actually was the one that game plans and watches all the fight footage. So he, you know, saw a few things that we, um, we've been working on and um, that we could use to our advantage. But uh, yeah, 18 and one is—it's a hard. That's a hard thing to do in this fight game, especially in MMA. It's so even that to rack up a 12 fight win streak, um, even if you, you even if you are taking easier fights, it's hard to to do. So yeah, um, people need to you know respect uh, his debut fight. You know, it was a tough fight for me, but um, it's a good win to to get on my record now. And um, yeah, looking forward to the future. At the end of 15 minutes, how confident were you? I mean, they were—they, you know, had to suffer out through the read and everything. What, yeah. what did you think? Yeah, it was close. Um, I thought I'd done enough in that third round, just um, ring control and volume. I, I got a few takedowns as well, and um, I felt like I was landing the the cleaner punches. Um, but you know, I'm not a judge. But it's, it's always going to be hard in your hometown to to get the win. So um, it, um, I'm so happy to you know get the result and um, to do it in front of. Australia, uh, Melbourne, Australia, you know, it's kind of like my hometown over here, they, they love us so much, so I'm so thankful for the turnout and um, can't wait to be back and I can't wait to, you know, for the UFC to come back to Auckland, New Zealand and uh, hopefully can put on a show there, that's always been my dream. Uh, it's the last thing for me, I mean, you had a couple back-to-back -back fights pretty quick, what do you want, I mean, do you want to keep rolling and keep this thing going, do you need a little time, what's, what's the plan for you next? Uh, so yeah, it was a quick turnaround, you know, eight weeks, um, well, it was a week, I took a week off and then I was back into an eight-week camp, so... For now, I'd, um, you know, I'll take a little rest. I hurt my hand a little bit, just let it rest up. But um, I heard a rumor that they're coming back to Brisbane in August, so um, I'd love to do that. And um, yeah, I'd love to get a, you know, a higher rank opponent and um, set something up. You know, I, I want to fight those um, the big names in the division. There's not many of us now. They've been cutting a few. So um, hopefully, you know, tonight I show the flyweights. Are, you know, it's a fun division. We're, we're so close. Um, evenly matched. I mean, um, so anyone can be anyone in any night. So I just want to keep, you know, pushing the division to be exciting and um, keep going for those finishes. Just on that, have you had any more clarity from the UFC this week about what's happening with the division? And is there, is it crossed your mind that you could be fighting maybe a weight, one weight class up if the UFC does come to Auckland later on in the year? Yeah, I haven't heard actually anything. Um, I've just been, you know, keeping my head down and focusing on this fight one, one, one fight at a time. But uh, yeah, if they if they want me to move up, I know Match now, uh, Flyway as well as Sergio Pettis have all gone up to Bantam. So um, yeah, it's something to look look to in the future. Um, if that's the case, I, I don't mind doing that. Um, but yeah, I'll sit down with my coaches, then I'll sit down with the UFC, and we'll see what go, uh, we'll go from there. Just quickly, also wondering, what's it like to be on the card with Shane and Israel? And I mean, Eugene would be very busy in the back there with your team. What was yeah. that like warming up and sort of preparing? Ah, uh, you know, you couldn't have asked for a better um, preparation. Such a big occasion fighting at the Rod Laver Arena. You know, two weeks ago I was watching the tennis um, on TV and I was like, I'm going to be fighting here. And, and it's pretty surreal to be in there and actually feel the crowd and how um, intimate it is. Um, it's a it's an amazing venue to fight in and um, a pr privilege of me to represent New Zealand on that world stage. Um, but to be in the locker rooms, you know, the cranking music, just like a, a normal day at City Kipwalk, so, so it's awesome. We did a group prayer before um, my fight, just, uh, you know, uh, Eugene takes it, he just says, you know, bow your heads, just um, look after us tonight, you know, ho hopefully we all get the result that we wanted and um, just to go out there and put on a show and it it's nice to have that, you know, family environment before you go out um, in, s in such, uh, you know, intense um, sporting moment. Yeah. On the media day you were hanging out a lot with uh, Henry Segudo, yeah. what were you talking about and how far do you think you are from uh, shot at his title? Yeah, so me and Henry um, have a good relationship. He was my coach on the Ultimate Fighter, season 24. Um, yeah, I was just you're catching up. It's the first time I've actually seen him since we wrapped up from that show. So it's been two years since um, we've actually seen each other face to face. 
Oh, no, three years actually. So yeah, it was cool to just uh, um, pick his brain, you know, say congrats and he, he saved the division. Uh, well, hopefully saved it, you know. Uh, um, <laughs> but yeah, we are just saying, um, he was just saying go out and get the win tonight and you know, say what you want after the fight, after you get this win. Um, tell the UFC what you want to do and um, hopefully they'll, they'll listen. So he's, it's awesome to have him ringside when I jumped up on the cage after the fight. That's the first person I actually looked at and um, you know, he was applauding me and um, you know, uh, it was awesome to have him there. Yeah. After the fight you mentioned uh, you come through a bit of adversity before tonight. Can you talk a bit more about what you're referencing there? Oh, I, I just mean in the fight. I, I probably worded it wrong. Just in the fight I mean adversity. Um, he landed a few good body shots, um, a few hard knees. So um, yeah, he was a tough kid, 23, but he's got a bright future. Yeah. How are you feeling downstairs? Yeah, I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling good. Um, yeah, he, he landed a nice one right in the, right in the family jewels. But um, yeah, was, I'm, I'm glad I got a steel cup on, so uh, I could still um, live to tell another day. <laughs> he had had a fairly heartbreaking story leading up to the fight. Yeah. Does that factor into your, like, can you even uh, register that when you're preparing for a fight or do you just kind of have to strip, strip away the face and, and just focus on the skill set? You know, uh, at the end of the day we're all human so when someone loses someone they love, it's, um, you know, it's sad, it's, it's, you, you don't want to wish that upon anyone, um, especially an opponent that you're about to compete against. So um, yeah, I, uh, give my condolences to him, um, that, that would be so hard to go into a fight knowing that your partner's not there. <laughs> but yeah, you just got to block it out. And end of the day, he's coming to take what's mine. I, I want to be, um, I want to further my career, and he wants to further his. So nothing personal, just business. And um, yeah, hopefully he gets another fight, and he, he he has a long career in the UFC. And you had also spoken uh, in the build up that you had a specific, almost like a premonition about how the fight would end. But it obviously didn't go to a stoppage. But can you share with, <coughs> with us what you thought was going to happen? Yeah, I th he's quite tall, you know, and. Um, if you look at the blueprint of um, fights that I've had against all the fighters, I usually catch them, you know, with an overhand right or um, some sort of punch. So I was, yeah, I was surprised when he, he caught, uh, ate some of those punches and stayed in the pocket because it's dropped a lot of people, and um, that's why my hands are a bit sore now. So um, yeah, he's got a hard head, tough kid. Um, but yeah, I feel like I was a bit too. Um, I listened to my corners um, very well. That's what got me through that fight in that third round. They were saying, you know, slip that two. That's what he's throwing a lot. And um, counter back, stay in the pocket, but come back firing. So that's what I did. Cool. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you.